Well, Thierry, I'm so happy that we've got you on. Um, we talk about you all the time. Whenever I get my Arsenal friends on or the ex-players, straight away I ask them a question. <laughs> you got one choice, Thierry Henry or Dennis Bergkamp, and honestly, it splits them right down the middle. <laughs> 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 I won't ask you that question, though. <laughs> You can, you can, so you see, you can. I, I, I don't have a problem with that. I, I will always put Dennis ahead. Wow. I will. No, because, look, I, you know me, you, you know me, Goli. If I, if I wanted to be the best, so, so if you ask me as a competitor, nobody was better than me. But that, that, that's a theory, that's, that's a mindset, that's a state of mind. Everyone should be like that. If not, you might as well stay at home. If you don't dream big, then you might as well start home. But I, I, I tell you why, Dennis. Dennis for me is different because first and foremost, I had to follow him. He showed me the way. And as you know, uh, uh, the guy was always first at everything, like arriving in a dressing room. I want to talk about his skills because we can talk about his skills for days. But the role model, model that he was for, for everyone, when you arrive in that dressing room and I and you know you were there and, and the old guard was there, very vital for me to to become an Arsenal man. But Dennis Berkham, you, you look at him, everything is immaculate. Everything that he does, the way he looks at you, he tells you, "I'm the best. You better wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you better than me. Train better than me in order to to take my spot." And I couldn't wish for a better guy to show me what it was to be a professional. And I had great guys around me, but Dennis Bergkamp, as you know, you do a, you do a training drill, you have to control with your right to bring it on your left. You know the one we were doing with with, with Boro and, and the boss every morning. He <laughs> <laughs> was doing exactly what he had to do. And, and, and well, and all the time. The same way, and never a mistake. Never touching the mannequin. Never making any mistakes. And and you know, and I, I will tell a story that I think will will put it way up there. I think you were already gone, Dave. And and uh, that that's when Dennis was signing every year, one year, one year, and every time the crowd was singing, one more year, one more year, one more year, one more year, one more year whatever. I remember Dennis Bergkamp. So Dennis Bergkamp, that was, I mean, Dennis Bergkamp, I mean, it's, it's in the title, let's not talk. Uh, the guy didn't have a contract because he was supposed to go to Fulham. Oof. He didn't have a contract at that particular moment. And that guy was training, as you know, Dennis, uh, as you know, Dennis, uh, Dave, was training hard every day, putting his foot in. And as you know, he, has, he, had, he had a bit of an edge. Yep. A, a big, good one. A big, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but but who would have done that? Dennis Burkamp. I think he was 34, 34 right. something. Coming to training w- without knowing if he was going to stay at Arsenal, without almost a contract, was but playing every uh, um, friendly game, every training session like it was his first or his last. Yeah putting his foot in and respecting everybody and acting the same way. Nobody would have done that now. No yeah. one. I don't mm-hmm. care who you are. Everyone said, hey, I don't have a contract. I'm sitting at home. And we're talking about Dennis Bergen. Oh, we're not talking yeah. about any Mickey Mouse players that just got Arsenal. <laughs> we don't have Mickey Mouse players. <laughs> well, we did have a few. <laughs> we won't name names. <laughs> but, so that's why for me, Dennis... Because I will always give more respect to guys that were there before me and guys that taught me a lot. And I, I, I had to battle, like I said, you know, Dennis was, everything was with his eyes. You know, the, the, the dark humor. And by the way, people don't know is funny as hell. Then, what, uh, once he gets to know you, you know, when you first meet him, he's uh, like, you, you think he's really shy, don't you? But then all of a sudden he clicks. You need to you need to pass the Dutch, the Dutch way and the Dutch <laughs> attitude or whatever it is. But Dennis is funny as hell. But we always used to look at each other. So as you know, Dave, if I if I'm going to take, if I can say that with all humility, the keys away from being 
in bracket, the guy that's supposed to be the, the individual, and we had a lot, in the collective. And I always say individuals win you game, but the collective will win you titles. Team will win you titles, individuals win you games. You, you understand what I mean? So how do you need to take the keys away from that guy? So I'm like, okay, he arrives at at, uh, at the clock. I'm going to arrive at 7.59. So he's like, I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, morning. He goes like, <laughs> and I said, right. He goes like, shit. He arrived before me. The day after he arrived at 7.45, I'm like, shit. <laughs> and he, was like, he was like that for everything. He had a bit of a salad and something. Maybe I need to do the same thing. Then he scores in training, he scores one, and every time then he scores. Meanwhile, Dave, Dave is eight o'clock on the dance. <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 was, that was good, to be fair. And, uh, and if Dennis was scoring a goal in training, and Dennis had that attitude, he will look at you like, like, like you guys are, basically. But, <laughs> so I'm like, I need to do something here. Like, I need to earn his respect. So he scores one, I score two, and one, I score two. Me too. I was a bit, I had that also in me. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, but but without noticing, I'm getting better. Without noticing, the, the best way I could I could be with Dennis Beckham is to show him that why at one point in bracket, I, I became the guy. The utmost respect I could give him is to be the best I could be like that. He, he, if he had to go on the bench, he at least knew why. And we were in, um, not making a joke in safe hands. You know when, <laughs> you, know when you know when you first um, when you first arrived here. You 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 came into our squad and we we just won the double. And then, at what point did you realize that like how good Dennis was, and and how how did you feel joining the team that was winning like that? Well, look, Dennis. I, I watch games, uh, Dave. As you know, I watch I watch a lot of games, and as I, I know Dennis from the Ajax time when he was a winger. But also, another thing that people don't know: Dennis was fast as hell. People don't know that they're like, "Oh, yeah, kind of." No, Dennis was super fast. He started as a winger playing for Ajax, and if you play for Ajax as a winger, you need to have some type of speed back in the days. Even now, uh, and then obviously Inter Milan, and then and then the goal against Argentina, and then the goal. The, the goals that he scored, his goals, by the way, let's let's put it there, you know. But you arrive at Arsenal and I knew Dennis was good just the way the way the way he was walking. You know the way he walks? Swagger? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know, sometimes you hear about players, and when you arrive in a dressing room, guys are like, eh, he, he and all that, he scores, but it's okay, you know. He's, he, you know, if we're not there, he cannot score. We feed him more often than not. You know, not in a bad way. That's that's your job. But but, but you, the way you guys were looking at him, the way he was walking, is yeah. mean. I'm like, yeah. oh shit. Okay, <laughs> um, that's that's the guy here. And then Dave, look, I say it so many times. You you here, and I said it. I've been pretty vocal about it. I I will never lie. I arrived. I was already world champion and whatever it is, name it. But Dennis Bergkamp, you know, obviously I knew, I knew, um, I knew Manu, I knew Gilles, I knew, I knew Pat. But you guys, I think a lot of people sometimes forget. And I love our to bits. As you, it's like it's like a father for me, you know. It's not far. Uh, but without you, without 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 Tony, without Lee, without without Nigel, without Ray. Without you guys, I wouldn't have known uh, what it was Arsenal football. Without Paddy, uh, you know, at, uh, um, at Ivory. Without uh, Ricey killing me every day about Spurs, we need to beat them. I'm like, we're playing. What are you talking about? Like, without you letting me know what it was to wear that, 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 to have that jersey on. That jersey is heavy, you know, not only that jersey in the world, but without, without, without understanding what it was, you know, when you arrive on Avenue Road and you see the fans when we go down with the, with the bus and it starts to get in your, in your, in your skin playing for the Arsenal. You know, without you, it wouldn't have been possible. So, like I said, people always talk about me, people always talk about Dennis Bergkamp, but, you know, to, to stay in the, in uh, it's it's all BS for me because without you, 
it, it wouldn't have been possible. And yes, people will talk about Arsene Wenger being the professor. And yes, he was the professor. But if you don't have any good students, students, sorry, and guys that were there to also let him know how the how the university was. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what you mean because that's that's one of the things that he, he did when he first came. You know, he left he left the back four to itself because he, he'd obviously he'd learnt about us, and it, and it wasn't just like you say on the pitch. It was it was also off the pitch where exactly what you've just said. We we taught people the Arsenal way, you know, because we'd been taught it before. You know, when I, when I joined, I joined in ninety, and that. that that team was like so strong, but it was the Arsenal way, and it was always the Arsenal way, and that was through George Graham, who signed me, and then obviously Arsenal came in. But how how much did you know of Arsenal before before you you came to Arsenal? Because I think you'd had him. Was it Monaco that you had him before? He he, he, he gave him my debut. So yeah. I remember I just turned seventeen. I received a phone call. I wasn't 17 yet when I received a phone call or whatever, but I received a phone call. Like I just had a, my first season with the under 17, right? I came back. I was maybe supposed to play with the reserve. So I came back earlier that year and I don't know why suddenly I, I was involved with the first, first uh, game of the reserve. I think. Yeah. That year I was on the bench. I came on, I scored and I gave, and I gave a goal, but I didn't think much of it. You know, I was so happy to be in the reserve and play whatever. And, and, and the reserve in France, you play, in it's the level is will be league one so i was like oh okay that's, that's not bad whatever then i remember i received a phone call at the cafeteria where you where you sleep at the at the you know for, with the youngsters at the, the uh, academy terry it's uh tomorrow you you you're going uh, you're going you're supposed to go with the first team and train <laughs> <laughs> Uh, training is at 9.30, be there, someone will bring you up, whatever. And obviously I went. Next thing you know, the strikers, because you need a bit of a look um, to start. The two strikers that week uh, were sick, just during the week. Suddenly, I'm starting the game. Uh, 17, and then the rest is history, and he... <laughs> It, he wasn't, as you know, he wa he's not scared when he sees quality Yeah. to put a youngster on the field. It, 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 it doesn't matter for him. He sees talent and not age, um, apart when you get a bit older. But <laughs> yeah, I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what you were saying about Dennis, I was on that year-to-year -year contract as well. <laughs> were you ever on it, is what I want to ask. <laughs> To be fair, I'll be honest, I, had, uh, I was supposed to have a long contract, but the rest, you know, things happened and I had to go. Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> to be fair. But, uh, yeah, no, I was um, I was definitely on that that year-to-year -year contract. <laughs> but I was I was 39 when I left, but I was, yeah, I was happy on that. But uh, what what I wanted to ask you was that when, when, you, when you arrived, and because Wrighty was around that time, wasn't he? No, right, you already left. They're already gone. Nico oh. just left. And Elka just left when I yeah. arrived. And then oh, okay. they arrived. Uh, who arrived at my time? Yeah, that was a girl arrived. I think Oleg Luzhny arrived at the same time. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Nico just left. Yeah. But how did, because it took you a little while, didn't it, to, to, to actually score? Yeah, Dave, look. Um, <laughs> I could I could I, know, but I, I can't believe I'm saying this to Thierry Henry, you know, all the goals that he scored. <laughs> and it still took him a while to score for Arsenal. <laughs> you know, you know, I, 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 I'm going to answer the question and then I'm going to go to something else, which for me is, is more important than anything else. Okay, so first and foremost, I had to let you know, guys, that I could belong. Not fit. I don't care about fit. I, I want I want to belong with you. Uh, to belong with you, it means winning titles. It means earning your trust. So above the goals, I was like, can I play with those guys? Am I on the same level with those guys? In training, can I show them? And I know in training you knew. But then I couldn't I couldn't yet deliver it. And you understand, it's like I was playing as a striker when I was young. Then suddenly, because of my pace, I went on the wings because guys were like, oh my God, he's so fast. It will be a waste to have him on the bench, whatever. So I was on the left, I was on the right. You win the walker being on the right. So you, know, you get used to play on the right, right? 
And so that, that's how it was. But I, I need to relearn the movement, the appetite to score goals. And and I needed also to battle Ricey and everybody in the stand and everybody in the team and Lee Dixon and Nigel Winston <laughs> and everybody. I am not a box player. So I always remember, Dico takes the ball, puts it on his right in training or in the game. I'm coming short. <laughs> and he's like, what the F are you doing? Get to the box. You never score from there. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about this guy? I'm like, I was alone. If you reverse it, I'm at, I'm at the edge of the box. Why do you want me to put... put and I like my nose. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 I value it. I'm like, hey, can you not pick me sometimes? Yeah, I understand sometimes you put up, but no. Nigel, the same. Rice, yeah. like, get your, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Then you play. I'm like, okay, maybe in the game I can do something. Then you play. I do the same thing. I hear the fans. Get in. <laughs> and then also, my socks over my knees. Gloves, short sleeves. I was like, that's not, the, that's not a good look maybe for some guys. <laughs> you know, but then, okay, so I'm like, I'm going home. I, I always remember it was Middlesbrough at home. We won 5-1. Canu scored. I think Ovama scored. And I think, oh, wait, whatever. And then he scored. I didn't come on. So I have to battle with Mark Ovamas, Davos Schuker, Canu, and Dennis Burkamp. Wow, tough school. No, no, people are like, oh, it's tough always. Oh, you know, uh, they don't have enough. Well, tough battle. Fight, show people that you can. They give you five minutes, do something. They gave me none that day. <laughs> none. I went back on the path train to St. Albans in the, in the, at the Sopwell House. I swear, I yeah. took the train. People didn't even realize it was me. I was shy anyway. So they couldn't even realize it was me. <laughs> anyway, but I was like, what do I do now? Wow. Well, you put your head down and you work and you wait for your chance. And the boss gave me my chance against Derby and I never looked back. Once you open that door, man. Yeah. I, I close that really quickly. But uh, now I want to go to something. People always talk about my goals. I couldn't care less about the goals. Really? I about performing for my team. And people yeah. never talk about my assist. That used to piss me off. Because I wasn't your, your usual striker. I wasn't your usual striker. And when people put me in the same bracket as a box player, I said, don't do that. Do not do that. We, we don't do the same thing. We never used to do the same thing. Do not compare me to a guy that used to stand in the box and receive crosses and a guy who could take the ball from everywhere and assist and score. You used to take it from me and go the whole length of the pitch. Do <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? You can't, you can't, you can't. Mbappé has that style. You know, you have R9 at that style. You have players that, are, that were stepping out of the box. I'm like, if you compare, you, you, you know, a box player... And, you know, I was very different than Alan Smith. I was very different than Alan Shearer. I'm very different than Mighty. I'm very different than Aguero. I'm very different than, than Ruth Von Nistelrooy. Were they magnificent? Who would you compare yourself to in the modern game now, then? Who, who, is, who do you look at now and go, that's, that's maybe the closest I am? I, I, I don't know, because I, I, don't, I, I don't like to do that. Uh, but <laughs> but what, what, I, what, what I like to make people notice is I get annoyed when people do not notice what I used to do all around. Exactly. That used to that that used to piss me off. They're like, oh, I, I scored hat tricks where I was shite. <laughs> <laughs> Push the ball a couple of times in the box, a penalty, and then yo, know, Henry once again. I'm like, oh my God, I escaped death today. Woof. I played yeah. game where I, you know, I was magnificent and I didn't score. Yeah. Because I helped my team, I defended well, I, I held the ball well, I created, I gave assist, or I gave the ball before the assist. You know, that people know, they will know. You know, when you put you play away from home and you put your head up and your striker is hiding, mm -hmm. doesn't show. Yep. You want to hold the ball, he doesn't come short because he doesn't want to lose it. And, you know, I, I never I never got the, you know, sometimes I, it, it was annoying when I never got the, oh, uh, uh, they didn't serve Thierry today. I never used to get that line after the game. Yeah. A lot of strikers get, they didn't feed him. Hello? Really? 
This is ice. <laughs> How many times you hear that? Oh, it, it was tough for the striker today away from home. They didn't feed him. Mm. Is, for it. is that because you were doing something that hadn't been done before? And that's ultimately why you were having to convince not only your manager and your teammates, but the British public who were watching, who were thinking, we've not seen this yet. I, I guess that, and David David will tell you that, my stubbornness <laughs> kicked in. I'm stubborn as hell. I changed them, by the way. I was. <laughs> if I, no disrespect. And I love Pat Rice to death. And I love my Arsenal fans. I love everybody. I love Lee. But I prefer myself. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I know exactly where you be, where you're coming from. <laughs> if I didn't battle that, you wouldn't have, yeah. you wouldn't have seen me. Yeah. Finally, you would have seen my weaknesses. That's, that wasn't my strong point. Why am I? I needed to bring people in 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 my garden, not going in theirs. Yeah. So, uh, but but then you have to perform. I always say to, to players, you want to show who you are. Make sure you score then when you don't listen to your teammates or you somehow also don't listen to your coach because a coach will always accept goals or you're playing well. Uh, or, or suddenly everybody was like, okay, I guess he can come out of the box. People want to see that. They want to give me the ball when I, I wasn't supposed to have the ball. I was like, no, you shouldn't have played me there. Although I was calling for the ball, by the way. But I was like, oh. But do you understand what I mean? You need yeah. also a one point amongst the if, if, you know the, the the team. Be yourself. Be that's why Arsenal wanted me. That's why Arsenal wanted me because he saw that. But now, how do I put that and I put that in the game for those guys, especially Big Dave, to go like, you know what? I, I, I'll die for this guy. He can make a swing. Yeah. He can make a swing. Once you have that. Yeah, then I can have my socks over my knees. And now people are like, oh, that was so cool. And, <laughs> and everybody follows you now. <laughs> light blue, most you remember, gloves. Yeah. <laughs> Woolly <Wally> gloves. <laughs> oh, and every time uh, uh, Vic was like, skip. And Tony was like, show sleeves. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Because everybody had to follow Tony. Whatever Tony decided to wear on that day, we all had to wear the set. Not me, obviously. But <laughs> the outfield players. If, they, if Tony chose a short sleeve shirt, everybody had to wear a short sleeve shirt. Really? <laughs> if you have gloves, you know, I know now it's a bit sensitive, all of this. Oh, Thierry, you're not a man. I'm like, yeah, I'm a man, but I'm cold. <laughs> Is it be okay to be able to play? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was, that, that's how it was anyway. Do you know, you know, you said about showing uh, the, the public what you were like. What I used to love is is when when people used to like make you angry. Yeah, on the, the pitch. Oh my god! <laughs> but then then you would like go on to another level. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But to answer to to the to to the question before, uh, 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 very important, and I go back to that. But there's something that I wanted to say also about the position. I think for me, it's important when the player. What are you going to bring to the game? And then people will say after, hey, it changed something. Yeah. That's also very important to, to, to answer to, to, to the question before. And to go back to that, yeah, Dave, look, I grew up, I grew up, my dad was, 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 was tough. Yeah. It was always what I didn't do. Never what I've done. So it, I, I will need another 10 hours to explain my dad. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so I answered, I answered quicker to rage or uh, something that wasn't done well that more than something that was done well. So yeah. if you told me, Terry, you're good, you, you could put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you used the rage as a catalyst to prove yourself then. Is, that was a driving force for you. I, I don't know. That I reacted quicker uh, mm. to, to someone doubting me. Uh, or someone, uh, uh, whatever the referee said something, or the or grass someone kicked you. <laughs> anything wasn't right, then I'm on. You know, <laughs> on purpose. But yeah. are there are there many people like you left in football? Because you're talking about tough love, and the thing that we always hear now is that a manager needs to put an arm around the player and 
they don't react in that way. Do you think that's been lost? Things have changed. You can't compare stuff like now. You can't do that. Like if I, if I, I'm sure if 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 David now talks about George Graham and now he was in training, the police will be at the end of the training session arresting. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, totally true. <laughs> so now, now you look. I can tell you because I, I, I you know, I, I coach. If you look at a player a certain way, yeah, oh, boss, the way you looked at me after training, I was like, what? Oh, I wasn't. Looking, I, did I look at you a certain way? Yeah, you know, sometimes. Oh my gosh! Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, so now you need to explain. You need to talk well. So it's 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 different. You can't you can't compare eras. You just cannot do that. In my time, it was shut up and play, figure it out. Do you think your coach was going to explain to you why you're not playing? If you're not playing, it's because you're shite. <laughs> yeah. Like you say, you can't say it. You cannot say it now, can you? You say that now, just that word. Yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah, and, and at a young level even more in trouble, which understand me well. I think we were too much into the extreme back in the days. And now we're being also too much into you, 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 you're trying to build uh, uh, guys that are supposed to be out there, battle, kill more or less. And then you, you they're never confronted to any problem mm-hmm. or, 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 or any bad situation. Um, it's a bit tough, right? But that's how it is. But one thing that I would say, it's a bit difficult also now to be real and say what you want to say and how you feel. Because yeah. everything, everything, like even if you make a joke, oh my God, oh, and then you have to come out and say, hey, I was joking. Oh, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's a bit different. It's a bit different now to be yourself. And I think that's one thing that's missing a bit in the game, but can you do it still in the game? You know, be yeah. yourself and be loud and... And, you know, we miss the battles in midfield, right? Or, or yeah. who they used to do whatever they used to do. But now... Well, the, the physical battles that used to go on. And, you, yeah. Can, yeah. You, you touch someone, you pull the shirt of someone, you say, yeah, look out. Mm-hmm. Back in the days, punching someone was like, oh, well. 